If your candidate appears not to have the moxie to be top hand, perhaps that is because he's been groomed to be a glove. Is John McCain the Manchurian candidate? Was he broken in the Hanoi Hilton by sadistic ancient Khmer techniques and then rebuilt as a covert asset by secret agents of the KGB? Is his old KGB handler now the power behind Vladimir Putin and the old friend of ex-CIA boss George Herbert Walker Bush? Were Putin and W both raised and groomed for their jobs to set both countries up for a takeover by presidential power? And McCain is the tool which will set the new order into motion, manipulated into position by old family ties, a rich, powerful wife, the VFW, the Freemasons. Wait. Didn't Barack Obama go to the same Muslim youth indoctrination camps as the Bin Laden kids in Indonesia? Maybe Obama and Osama made a pact when they were boys to bring the world to its knees before Allah. It would be the classic good cop, bad cop. One would rise up against America and the other would be America's defending champion, the greatest underdog victory in history, who would inherit the supreme power George Bush was used to bring to the presidency. Is Barack Obama the Al Jazeerian candidate? Perhaps our only hope is Hillary Clinton. No, oh, wait. What if she was addicted to LSD back in 1968 by Timothy Leary and she's been tripped out of her mind every day since? What if his severed head wasn't frozen and instead was put on a blood machine and kept alive in a life support tank and he uses the power of psychoceramic interferometry to control her as long as Bill keeps giving her her daily acid doses. And the interferometer, which could be used to control millions of minds, is actually alien technology. Was Bill Richardson run out of the election because he promised to reveal what was really found out there in Roswell? And why Scientology is building that huge underground time capsule in New Mexico? Wait, wait, I've got it. Let's repeal the 22nd Amendment and we can keep George W. Bush.